Hello and welcome. This video is designed to explain the importance of math fact fluency, provide an overview of the Reflex program, illustrate how your students will access Reflex from home, and emphasize how you can support your child. Math fact fluency for students is a little bit like when you all first learned how to drive a car. Your attention was almost totally consumed by the pedals and the other internal workings of the car. I'm sure you are all wonderful drivers now because the mechanics of driving a car have become automatic. Your working memory can now be dedicated towards the distractions like cars cutting you off and pedestrians stepping into the street. Let's see how automaticity plays a role in solving math problems by looking at this addition problem. How many facts do you think it will take to solve this one problem? Most adults will say about five facts when in fact there are five procedural steps alone. Taking a closer look at those procedures will indicate that there are over 14 facts needed to solve this one addition problem. A student struggling with their math facts is going to feel frustrated. They might start thinking they make a lot of errors, that math is hard for them. It gets worse when they start to tell you they don't like math or that they're not good at math. Reflex will increase the confidence of your students by helping them become more fluent or automatic in their math facts. We like to say that a fact is fluent when the students can answer it as fast as they answer the question, what's your name? To review the research behind Reflex, go to reflexmath.com and click on research. There you will find our awards as well as our research on the need for math fact fluency. Let's take a look at one of those reasons now. These fMRIs show brain activity of students who were and were not fluent in their math facts. While the brain activity is plentiful without automaticity, once facts are automatic, valuable brain activity is freed up for more complex problems. To see more specific results Reflex has shown, head over to reflexmath.com and click on results. There you can see our case studies as well as individual school percent fact fluent results. A typical student experience starts off with Dwight in the fact fair. Fact fair is the fluency check round where Dwight assesses the students in what facts they are already fluent in. From there the students will meet Coach Penny who will coach them on a fact family or rule that the students are not yet fluent in. The coaching session finishes with Coach Penny's picture puzzle. The students will reveal a picture by answering the facts that are shown. The fluency development games will help your students drive down their response time and really make those facts fluent. During the fluency development games, students will earn tokens for effort as well as for making progress. The student's goal each day is to reach the green light. That green light tells you that they've practiced enough for one day. It tells the students they can now go spend their tokens in the Avatar store. The Avatar store has new clothing, a stylist, and even accessories to really make the avatar look like the student. The progress tree is another way that students can not only display, but monitor their fact fluency growth. Your child will be able to access Reflex from anywhere they have an internet connection. They'll receive their login card from their teacher with their site, username, class, and password. Once you enter that site in your internet browser, click Launch in the top right hand corner. Once the students have entered their username, they'll be prompted to select their class, their name, and enter their password. All of that information is on that login card they received from their teacher. Reflex provides many reports to the teachers regarding how the students are progressing. If you ask your child's teacher, they can provide you with individual reports detailing which facts the students are still working on, which they are fluent in, along with usage detail indicating when the students have been logging in to Reflex, and milestone certificates indicating your students' progress. Many of these reports are also available to you through your Reflex parent account. To create an account, you can either follow the steps on the letter from your teacher or go directly to reflexmath.com forward slash parents. From there, you'll be asked to enter your email address to begin the sign up process. You can check your email to receive the activation link for your new Reflex parent account. Once you've entered some basic information, you'll be prompted to launch Reflex, log in, and add your child to your new Reflex parent account. In order to connect you to the right child, you will enter your teacher's username, select your child from the class, 
and then enter your child's password. This will bring you to your child's dashboard where you can choose the reports from the drop-down menu. As a quick overview, remember that Reflex is game-based, so it's adaptive to your individual student, as well as providing powerful reporting and giving your students access online, anytime, anywhere. Here are a few ways to help your child succeed. Encourage them to use Reflex at home at least three days a week. Make sure during those days that they play at home, they're reaching the green light every day. And don't forget to praise their progress. Look at their avatar, look at their progress tree, and watch those milestone certificates come home from the teacher.